Welcome back to Okami. I am Jimmy Joe, and uh, we are about to hit the Spirit Gate. I was just checking to see if there's anything around the outside. There is not. So, cutscene. The Spirit Gate. Nobody knows when it was built, or even who built it. All we know is that it has been here since the Age of Myths. And that's a whole lot older than even old man Isha Ishaku. The Punkle Chief's clan has served as its gatekeepers for generations. It's said that it's needlessly opens uh, it's said that needlessly opening this gate only invites disaster. But I have no idea what kind of disaster it might be. I'm gonna force this gate open. After all, we have no other choice. If Lika is the only, uh, if Lika is on the other side of that thing, stand back, Amy. Wow. Apparently, either he either has his grandfather's sword. Or, he was destined to lead her, uh, Emiterasu, through the gate. Boy, old man Ishaka Ishaku would have been had my head if he knew what I just did. Let's just keep this between you and me, Amy. Just look at that light. It looks way too pretty to be anything that invite, invites misfortune. What are you looking at, Furball? The door's open, ain't it? Do you have the guts to go on through it? If you turn back now, after all... If you, if you turn back now, after all, I've been through. I swear, I'll... Huh? Oki? Oh, I thought it was Waka. Their, their clothes were very similar from the back. Hello again, Nisun, and Amaterasu, was it? I thought I'd come and join the fun. I've never seen the spirit gate open before. They say opening it only invites disaster. What are you doing here, anyway? And how the heck did you get this far into y Yoshfet? To, to begin with. Ah, uh, we must be talking about this forest powers to confuse beasts. Indeed, we half-man, half-beast Onya should feel the effects. But it seems the sacred sword K Kutone has kept me safe. This is no surprise, as the sword itself has driven me here. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens when Kitone glows silver. As the prophecy foretells when Kitone starts glowing, it is a sign that the demons shall soon fall. What's more, some say even the heavens will be within reach. What the heck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Uh, anyway, it has begun to glow. I must not have slain nearly enough monsters yet. If that's the case, this spirit gate should be just the thing. I'll give those monsters of misfortune a taste of Katone. Alright, you go on ahead, I guess. Okay, wait! We have no idea what's on the other side of this thing. All we know is Lika somehow ended up going through it. I guarantee you're going to find more than you bargained for in there. That's what I'm hoping for. For the sake of Katone. So, our turn now? No, wait, Amy. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Late. 
Ooh. It's pretty green. Huh? This doesn't look so bad. What was all the talk about the spirit gate and misfortune? Hey, this place looks familiar. Yeah, it's the path of the gods. Yeah, that's it. It looks like, uh, Kamiki Village. Oh, it looks like Kamiki Village. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna say it looks like what was in the tree, but... Kamiki? You mean the tiny village in Shinshu Field? That's where the whole legend of Orochi began. I've never crossed the sea to set foot on Nippon before. The divine guidance of Katone must have led me here. The monsters of this land shall now taste its cold steel. No, Oki, wait! What about Lika? He's gone. Oh, well. Anyway, is this really Kamiki Village? Isn't it? But I'm getting a different vibe from here. Huh? Is this the last brush technique? That's strange. Why is there a full moon again already? Oh, look at the tiny sapling! Hey! Isn't this where Sakui's tree was? What's this dinky little seedling doing here? Can I... Can I... Can I make it blossom? Nope, I can't. Oh, oh, it's tiny little Sakuya! Oh, she's so cute! Wait a second, you're a strong kind of god, aren't you? I'm a wish sprite, they call me Sakuya. Young wood sprite Sakuya. So cute! What'd she say her name was? Sakuya? Sounds kind of familiar. How would you forget? I mean, I guess he's only interested in boobs, but seriously. Anyway, where the heck's Sakuya's tree? Shakuya? That's me! Yeah, yeah, we uh, we know already, kiddo. We're, we're, we grown-ups are busy right now. Why don't you go off and play? Excuse me, God, are you looking for me? Did you say God? Hmm, I guess the innocent eyes of a children can see the truth, Amy. I'm a, I'm a Mr. Bug and me, Shakuya. Let's be friends, okay? Mr. Bug? Better watch it, kiddo. Mama, when did you get to Kamiki Village anyway? I knew it. We are in Kamiki. We better have a look around for a ball. Is there anything else? Um, oh, okay, here we go. Alright, 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 alright. Wait. It changed. Is the tree back? No? No. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, he did say that it was uh, about different times and stuff, so... Oh, are we gonna have to beat Orochi back then? That would be cool! Oh, these things are all dead again. I already fixed all of these. Has it been like this for years? Ah. Is this old man orange? It is. I pray for a swift growth going on, huh? Mumble, mumble. Huh? What do you want with us? Hey, Gramps. Still tearing up a dance floor, I see. So what happened to the sacred tree? Uh, it got so small all of a sudden, someone put a curse on it or what? What are you talking about, you fool? I'm lovingly raising this seedling to bring peace to the land. I shall drive away the Orochi and all of his minions. Orochi? <laughs> Where the heck have you been, Gramps? That sneaky snake's been pushing up daisies right about now. I don't have time for this nonsense, you fool. After he uh, year after year, you come to our village to claim a sacrifice. You come? What? And this time, you've even learned to speak. Oh, okay, okay. Well, today's the day, I say. Enough is enough. Whoa, settle down there, Gramps. We don't want you throwing out your back or anything. Silence, you foul beast. Today's the day I had enough is enough. Is there anything else? Okay. Alright. Old man orange. Even though his orange is green. 
for some reason. All right, down. Down. Oh, more, more dead things. More dead things. <laughs> These are only giving me one. That is not what I wanted. All right. I wish I didn't waste all my money on the uh, the useless things that I used back then. All right, let's see. Um, let's see. Which one did I want to talk to? Hey, sweetie, how you doing? I hope you can cut that Susanna some slack. He's so shy that... Uh, what, what was that all about? Oh, can't go inside. Huh, I guess everybody's scared of us? Hey, you're Shiranui. We don't need any of Orochi's familiars around here. What? Shiranui? Orochi's familiar? Does that have something to do with the, uh, with our slang, Orochi? We're gonna keep waiting for the line for an autograph. Shut up, you're the only one who gets slain is you, you monster. Monster? What's gotten into you, Mushi? Uh, okay. Alternate timeline? I'm gonna save. This... This mirror is weird. Okay. I'm very confused. Is this Susano? Yep, it is. Wake up. Oh, I slipped like a log. I must have dozed off when I was training to defeat that no good Shiranui. Huh? Who are you? Who do you want with me? I am Nagi, the greatest warrior to ever live. Wait a minute. Y you're Shiranui! Still dreaming uh, or something, Pops? I mean, the greatest warrior ever? Give me a break. You brought along a little pea-sized monster this time. Well, I have you now, Shiranui, you monster. Monster? Come on, Pops, wake up. You must still be dreaming. And what's this with Shiranui business? You still obsessed with the past? The past? Stop speaking nonsense. Look at that moon. Tonight is the night when the moon vexes, waxes, waxes to his fullest. It marks the day when Orochi shall claim his human sacrifice. Orochi? Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to actually do the Orochi fight again. Wait a second. What the heck's going on? There's a sinister air in the... Jerk Orochi must be stirring? How's that possible? Huh. Too late to feign innocence, Shiranui. We know you came. You come each year to seize up Orochi's human sacrifice. But this time, things are going to be different. I, Nagi, shall put an end to your devilish work. Orochi? Nagi? No, it can't be. Right, Amy, I mean... Uh, the spirit gate couldn't have possibly sent us back to Kamiki Village a hundred years ago in the past, could it? No. No. Alright, well, this is going to be an interesting fight. No, 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 crap. Ugh. Ow! Alright, that's good. Come on. Yeah. 
Ow. I'm taking damage, but I mean, so is he. So you can't you can't you can't be all that bad. Almost. Almost done. I thought he was going to be a lot stronger, but guess not. Uh oh, you knocked him out cold. I wonder what's going on. I mean, he keeps calling himself Nagi. I thought he was Suzano. Then again. He looks just like the statue of Nagi in the village. Huh? The vibe in the village and the villagers' reactions. And now this big old full moon! Now I'm positive. We really did go back to Kamiki Village a hundred years ago in the past. I get it now. Everybody thought Shiranui came to the village before the festival to seize up the next sacrifice. And they thought that Shiranui was Orochi's familiar or something. So that's why he called you, you Shiranui and wanted to fight. That's, so that's why he called you Shiranui and wanted to fight you. Yeah. Hey, wait a second. Where's the real Shiranui then? Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. I just hope our coming here hasn't totally messed up history. Huh? Look, the villagers are all gathered in front of his house. Nagi, please come out. We need your help. Shiranri once again roams our village. It seeks to size up Orochi's next victim. The moon is at its fullest tonight. And the dreaded Orochi. Maybe he's Old Man Apple. Instead of Orange. Well, there's the Orochi powers. Gonna form the arrow and shoot the house again. <laughs> yep, there's the arrow. And it's the brew house lady again. It's almost like. <laughs> Mr. Grapefruit. There we go. It's not it's not an orange. Apparently all the village elders are named after fruit. The Crescent Arrow has marked the home of the Chosen Maiden. This will be the hundredth maiden since the terrible riot began. Must our village suffer such tragedy yet again? Poor Nami. To think we ended up uh, having to send you... What the hell is that thing floating around behind? What? What? What is that? What? What is that? Hello? Anybody else see that? Well, I believe in you, Nagi. You have trained long and hard to slay the dreaded Orochi. I shall not lose faith. I'm not afraid to face Orochi in a moon cave. I know you will put an end to the Orochi and this dread dreadful rite. I'm going to go change into the white sacrificial robe. Please, everyone, go hide in your homes. It is not safe out here. Waddle, 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 waddle. Waddle, 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 waddle. 
That's not something to be happy about. Come on, come on. Bah, that Orochi. Uh, I'll stick it to him or something like that? Hmm, wait. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea knocking Nagi out like that. I mean, what about the legend? You know, the legend where he says Nagi disguised himself as the maiden to be sacrificed and then slew the dreaded Orochi? But how's he gonna do that if he's out cold there? It's gonna change history itself! What are we gonna do? We'll have to look for Lika later. We gotta think of something quick. Uh, well, I, I guess I should make sure things just go like the legend. Um, that means we'll have to dress up Nagi like a maiden. Now then, uh, where to begin? Oh, I know! Nami said she was going to go change to the white sacrificial robe. We'll swipe that robe and put it on Nagi, and then we'll get him over to Orochi. That should be more or less fulfill the legend. At least I hope it will. Uh, anyway, we better hurry before Nami takes off. Ah, let's go. Alright, alright, so... Gotta go to the brew house. Which is just over... This place. Should be in here. Come on, come on. Go up the damn stairs! Thank you. It's not in here? Okay. All right. Is, is that not the right one? Oh, her house is over here, isn't it? Okay, well. How do I find this robe? Ow. Ow. Stop it! Stop it! This is the wrong area, I think. Where the heck is she? Is that not the right one? Like, do I go in here? No, nope, not this one. All oh, right, I gotta dig it up. Okay, um, a little confused. I thought I had to. Oh, maybe there's. Maybe it's this woman over here. Hold on a sec. This, she's bathing in the lake? And look, there's the white sacrificial robe. Okay. Uh, do you think that could be the eight purification sake? I must keep it down. Nami must be purifying herself and putting on the robe. Pretty noble of her considering Orochi's gonna gobble her up. I bet uh, her devotion. I bet it's her devotion that made the legendary eight purification sake. If I could just get close view of her like this, I'd... I'd... <laughs> anyway, this is our big chance, Amy. Let's snag her white sacrificial robe while she's busy bathing. You ready? I'm assuming I have to be quiet and slow? Well, I don't know if that was correct or not. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be really, really slow. Hello. Excuse me. I'm just gonna... Walk away. Very slowly. Come on. Come on. Way to go, Amy! Oh, wow, I was really close to just getting... It. <laughs> I was literally like one step away the first time. Alright. 
so we knocked out this dude we will dress him up get him in the robe now all we got to do is get pops in here into it okay hey <laughs> doesn't that look pretty how Nagi can pretend to be the maiden sent to be sacrificed this should be just like the legend said right Amy not bad if I do see it so myself anyway let's get to it let's take him over to the moon cave before he wakes up after all he's all dressed up for his date with destiny all right here we go we're gonna save just in case oops come on there we go Oh, it's the Wandering Merchant, dude. Alright. Pretty sure I know where I'm going. Shinshu Field. So, so this is what Shinshu Field looks like a hundred years ago. Hey, have you given a piggyback ride to the Moon Cave before? Hey, you've given it to them before. But that was the ba uh, that Babe Kushi last time. The view, not to mention smell, was a whole lot better than... But I'm not sure I'm liking this whole going back to the past business. Yeah, I don't have time to... What? 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 What is that? Some kind of piper? Oh, oh, they are blocking. So, there we go. Is that everything? I think that was everything. Yes, it was. Oh, oh. So close. There we go. That's everything. Give me my monies. Alright. Yep. Pretty sure I'm going the right way, right? Uh, yep. What is this? What is- what? Well, that was weird. Oh. I can't actually go that way. Alright. Crap. And slice. that one and there's that one these guys are easy <sighs> I wish I could just avoid most of these I also wish I could figure out how to get rid of those uh, big rock things alright moon cave should be down here there we go Moon Cave Entrance. Ah, it's been a while since we've been here. I wonder if this fight is going to be any different. Might as well use this opportunity to save. Not exactly sure what we're going to expect here. Hmm. 
obviously another guardian before we can actually make it to Orochi. This thing's weird. I, I love these these uh, monsters though. These, they're really cool. Oh, there's two of them. Um. Wonder what else I can do here. Where's the other one? There it is. I think one of them is almost dead. Yeah. Okay. Almost got him. There we go. Yo! Wow, another golden peach. We have not died once. Maybe I should just, like, wait to actually, like, heal until I actually die to see what the astral pouch actually does. Because we can fill it, like, eight times over at this point. Ah, oh, there's no barrier this time. That must, that Orochi must think no one uh, would dare come in here. We should still be careful no matter how unprepared that snake is. I mean, if you think about it, you managed to slay Orochi a hundred years ago, but he died too. And you were at your peak back then. Legend says you appeared each year around the time of the sacrifice. Back then you were called Shiranyui and were said to be a monster. So how come you just didn't get rid of the Orochi right away? Well, I suppose you had your reasons. But I bet you made Orochi think that you were a big fat chicken. Huh? Huh? Where am I? Hmm. What in the world? Why am I wearing this? Hey, Pops, you finally came too. Now you can pretend to be a human sacrifice and then slay the Orochi. Then Nami will fall for you big time. What, what are you talking about? Oh yes, uh, of course. I am Nagi, the greatest warrior who ever lived. Like father, like son. Maybe you shouldn't have uh, said that you are a warrior. Brace yourself, Amy. Here it comes. Because maybe he heard you and now is probably expecting something? <clears throat> There's the head. After him! Or not. You're not a girl! <laughs> oh, but the sake that was on his head is gone. Looks like Orochi can taste the difference between a man and a maiden. Well, this is it, Amy. Psych yourself up. We're about to face Orochi in peak, con in peak condition. Yep. Barrier's up now. Oh, I really don't want to do the moon cave again. It's so annoying. What is this thing? Oh, that's the purification sake. Sake barrel. Let's go. 
Too bad Orochi didn't... Ah! I keep doing that. Still, and over until it's over. I mean, victory is still up for grabs, ain't it? It doesn't really matter. I mean, we already know what's going to happen. It's it's going to be the same Orochi fight as last time. It's just... This time, he... Uh, yeah, he's bigger. I think. Or he's going to be more strong. Hey! Isn't that... Oki? An evil power lured me to this cave. And now... That you are also here, there can be no doubt. This must be Orochi's stronghold. This is nothing about how the legend actually worked. <gasps> oh! That makes so much sense! Amy, there's someone passed out over there! Oh no! It's Lika! Yeah! It, yep, that would make a lot more sense. The why it didn't really care about um, Nagi or whatever. <sighs> big armored Orochi. So this is the dreaded Orochi. Amy, this time's the real deal. <clears throat> Remember, you just barely managed to slay Orochi at your peak. And in the end, you died too. Fools, how dare you stand in my way. I claim, I shall claim my hundredth sacrifice and become god of the underworld. Then, I shall bring eternal darkness upon all the land. First, you shall pay for your defiling my dark sanctuary. I am a stranger to these lands. Your words mean nothing to me. Now, Katone shall feast on your blood. That should be more than enough to fulfill its need. No, Oki, wait! Lika's on Orochi's back! I care not, for Orochi will be my ultimate offering to the Sacred Sword. Kutone will devour the beast down to the very marrow in its bones. Hey! This is bad! Isaki's not even ready yet! Alright, well, at least I know what the hell I'm doing this time. Alright, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Also, these things. Come on. Crap. I'm not over there. Am I supposed to go this way? What are these things? These give me stuff, right? Oh yeah, they give me ink. Yeah, I just have to do it twice on each one. And that gets him super drunk! Not like fire. There you are. Have your drink and eat it too. Ow. You'd think that he would learn to not roar after his attack, but uh, you never know. Wake up. Rawr. All right, cool. All oh, right, I have to run up his back. And do, yeah, there we go.
Almost! No! No! Don't wake up yet! Crap. Wake up! And here I thought last time I had to get all of the heads drunk. I really only had to do like one. Or I just had to make sure that they hit something. Wake up! Yeah, because one of the heads gets drunk and then it gets out of commission. So you just have to pick and choose which one you want. This fight's really not that hard. At least this part. I'm sure it gets a little harder, but... Alright. Wait, no, what? It didn't work. Ow. Ow. I wonder if that actually drains my ink when it does that. Alright, here we go. Okay. Bell is gone. Now the next part of the fight happens. Ow. I think I have to kill all of the... All of the dudes. Oh yeah, that was his barrier. Why can't I hit this? There we go. All right. Ow! Come on, it's almost dead. Ah, oh, come on! Okay. One head is down. Alright. Tons of damage. Alright, this one should only take two. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Roar. There we go. Whoa. two heads. What's this one do? Whoa! Okay. Super drunk! Ugh, I don't have enough power to actually... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I might have enough power. Increase attack power. Yeah. Oh, no, I... Oh, I wasted the time.
Oh wow, yep, that, that did a lot. Alright, come on. Roar. I don't know how long the sake lasts, but... Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, I still don't think it gives me enough power. No, nope, it doesn't. Whoa! Alright. That's how that one works. Wow! He is one hell of a thrasher. Come on, roar. Roar. That's not you roaring. Thank you. Delicious alcohol! Delicious, delicious death alcohol! Alright. Almost done. So many heads that I have to defeat. Can I, do I still have, oop, no, do I still have more? Yes. And do I have one of those, uh, godly? Oh, I guess I can't do the godlyhood thing. That's fine. Oh, wow, yeah. It just doesn't last very long. Perfect. I think that water one was the most annoying one to figure out the first time. Oh, I ran out. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Come on! Oh, I ran out just before I could do it this time. You'd think that there would be a, a couple more um, special abilities for each one, but it looks like uh, some of them just attack. Like some of them thrash about. Um, like one controlled water. Oh, this one must be like the darkness or the poison or whatever. But I just haven't gotten around to getting it. Let's get the sake. Kill this in one shot. Yeah! Last one. Alright, come on. Come on, roar. Roar. There we go. And let's just make sure that the sake lasts. Oh, it's, it's still on effect. Okay. Come on! Got it! Okay. Alright. So there should be a third stage to this fight. I just don't remember what it was. Oh, right. The timing stuff. God, I hate this part. Silence! Gutone, awaken. The time has come to grow silver. Grant me the power of the heavens. Yeah, sure. We'll help you with that. Whoa, what the? Okay. Well, he did. 
I don't understand. Why won't Kutone awaken? Why, Kutone? Why? Hold it right there, vile serpent. Amy, is that who I think it is? <clears throat> Behold, Nagi, the greatest warrior who ever lived. And from this day forth, guardian deity of Kamiki Village. K Kamiki Village. Hear me, vile serpent. Who would do violence upon the weak? Your time is up. Feel the wrath of my trusty soul. Oh, you still got the timing thing to do. Wow. He's more of a klutz than his son. Shiranui, I don't know why you're here, but Orochi is mine. I shall slay the beast. Choop, 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 choop. The time has come. Oh, great gods of the heavens. Sweep away these dark clouds. Bear witness to the beasts. Bear witness as the beast succumbs to my trusty sword. Boku. Boku Nenjin. Boku Nenjin. Wait. This all sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, the legend of Nagi. His sword gained the power over evil when the moon shone up above, upon it. At least that's what they say. Time to howl at the moon. Look, a celestial breaststroke. Oh, uh, I need a moon. That's why. Are you kidding? Stupid direction of the moon is relevant. It's dumb. Dumb that has to be one direction. His sword! It's. Huh? What devilry is this? My sword, it suddenly blazed gold. It must be the heavens which aid me. I shall wield this divine gift with all my might. Nagi style, blade of truth. Good will never Give in what to darkness to evil. What it didn't give me enough time. Is that the best you can do? I'll show you how a real man fights. Yeah do this all over again because didn't recognize it the first time. Eh. No! Come on! <laughs> this thing takes so long! I did it so close to the first time. What? Are you kidding? I hate these. I hate these timed events. They're so dumb. They don't give you enough time. You can't do it with a controller very well. I know it was supposed to be like, I know it was like really fairly easy to do it on the Wii, but. Ugh. I guess I just have to wing it. I hope. And just hope that I get the right direction. Yeah, see, it started in the middle, so I'd have to move it. Ah. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I get it. Yeah, 
it's not this one that's in the middle. It's the next one. Okay, got that one. That one. Did I do it? Okay, it's got one head left. Now for the ultimate in Nagi style martial arts. Celestial Cleaver! We did it! Again! That's not a wolf mask. Or an animal mask. Ooh, a new glaive! Hooray! I'm so excited! Obtain Divine Instrument Thunder Edge. Glaive imbued with the Thunder Spirit utilizes lightning power. Sweet! I love it! Can't wait to use it. The moment that the legend of Nagi was fulfilled. It was the most beautiful sight one could imagine. Bathed in moonlight, Nagi's sword twinkled around the reflecting gold light. With Orochi's body cleaved and the beast was sealed for a hundred years, the sword was dubbed Tsukuyomi and enshrined in the moon cave. Little Lika and the on Onyagoro, um, who had been tainted by Orochi's dark power, had her curse lifted and returned to normal. However, one man, Oki, did not show such signs of recovery. Orochi's power had interfered with his most desperate attack. Despite the grave danger, Katone did not exhibit the silver glow. Oki's heart burned as he thought of what Nagi's sword had wrought. Thoroughly humiliated and boiling with rage, he sulked away into the darkness, making sure that no one lay eyes upon him. Is that Waka from the past? He's got the same colors. I wonder if it's Waka from the past. Nice! Defeated Orochi again! Obviously, it's not the last boss. Hehe! <laughs> I have slain the beast! I, Nagi, have defeated the dreaded Orochi! We know, we know. Now, will you stop repeating yourself? I commend your bravery, Shiranui. But it was I who felled the foul beast. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, whatever. Furball here did all the work. Anyway, where did Oki go? He left without a word. Well, at least we saved Lika. Did we? Because. Did we? What's going on here? I've got a bad feeling about this. What's that Orochi up to now? I thought he was dead. Hey, Pops. You better get over here quick. Huh? What? What is this? Pops! What? What? Oh, okay. Got it. Shishiranui. Amy? The other Amy? What the? You, you saved my life. I'm so confused. I know there was supposed to be another Shiranui, but... Seriously. Oh, that's Ishkua or Ishika or whatever. Hey, you guys! This battle is far from over. Now get out of here while you still can. Or still have a chance. Is that 
Old man Ishaku? I wonder if we get our final breaststroke from the other Shiranui. Time to leave. Let's go. Come on, Lika. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster now. Whoa! Wrong door. You know that wolf who helped Nagi? That was Shiranui. Or, in other words, that was you a hundred years ago. That was how you met your... end after your adventure with Gramps. You battled and slew the dreaded Orochi only to die yourself. Is soon? Is that you? Huh? Lika? It's been a It's been ages. Too bad we have to meet like this. What made you go through the spirit gate anyway? Spirit gate? What's that? All I remember is two owls appearing in a dream. They invited me to come play with them in the forest. Next thing I knew, I woke up there. Thank goodness you and your doggy came to save me. You had a dream about two owls? Aren't the guardians of Kamui owls? Why would the owls lead you here? Uh, look, Amy. It's starting to wane. The day of darkness is about to begin. The day-long solar eclipse only happens every 100 years. Day of darkness? What's that? It looks like something's talking, taking a bite out of the sun. Amy, you're the sun god. What's gonna happen if the sun disappears? Sun god? What's that? <laughs> Lika, you can recite the volcanic incantation, can't you? It's supposed to be it's supposed to make that frozen mountain Ezofuji erupt, right? Well, you better do it, cause Kamui's gonna freeze if you don't. Volcanic incantation? What's that? <laughs> you mean the prayer we offer to the mountain or the lake? Yeah, I can mimic the prayer of the old man Kumi perfectly. He even told me what that I do it really well. I know, I know. That That's why we need your help back in the village. Let's go, Amy, back to Webkir. As fast as you can. Alright, let's go back to Webkir. Uh, as fast as we can! Save first. Oh, I need to switch over my glaives. Yeah. Oh, wrong one. I want this new one here. And then this one here. I don't know what the difference is, but I guess we'll figure it out. This is the right way, correct? Oh yeah, we're still in the uh, forest. We have to go through Ponkel and... Uh, Get back out through the forest. Oh, this is gonna suck. Unless there's a like a quick way out of the forest. You know, like uh Orcarina of Time when you went through the Lost Forest, if you uh if you screwed up which way you were going, um it would Holy crap, I can't see anything. Oh yeah, it did bring us out. Um, if you screwed up which way you were going, you could, uh, end up back at the entrance in the village. Whoa! Now that's one nasty blizzard. It's blowing in from the rear of the village. Anyway, we got to get Lika to the altar. We're almost to the edge of the Lauchi Lake. And I believe that I'm going to leave this on a cliffhanger. 
We're going to go up to the Lauchi Lake next time on Chimicho Gaming. Thank you for watching. And we will be back next week for Okami. See you next week. Bye.